City Farmer TV macro lens. Here we are in the garden visiting our fava bean patch and a lot of people get very concerned with the, the number of aphids that a fava bean gets and if you get to the very tippy top of the fava bean you'll notice that yes sure enough there are a ton of black aphids infesting the growing tip of the fava bean. But what I would like to do is to actually kind of focus on, you know, this aphid is actually a really good food source for bringing early beneficial insects into your garden. If you notice the tiny brown paper bag-like mummies, um, those are, or aphids, those are actually parasitized aphids from little mini wasp, which is a great thing to have when you're worried about your later season dahlias coming on or other things that can get black aphids. So supporting this really early on in the season with fava beans is a great thing. You'll notice that these fava beans have an abundance of ladybugs. And if you haven't become aware of what a ladybug larva looks like, because it doesn't always look like um, the ladybug, then I want you to take a look at this tiny little larva up here on another tip. It's actually a very large larva and it's about to pupate into another ladybug beetle. Things like Aphidolides, all sorts of predators present on the fava bean. And really when it comes down to it, I didn't have any problems harvesting fava beans. Does anybody have any fava bean recipes?